Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, April 17, 2010. This week, how to separate items that are grouped on one page using Photoshop, Elements, or other image editing software. My family enjoys geocaching, a game where you search for treasures hidden at given navigational coordinates. In geocaching, you have to be able to find what you want and separate it from the other items surrounding it. Separating images in Photoshop and Elements is a little bit like this game. Designers sometimes group alphabets or elements on one page for your convenience. I really like pages of grouped elements because it means I only have to open one file, but then I have all of the letters or elements available for me to use on my digital project. When you download a file with elements that are grouped together in one PNG image, here's how to use them. Open your digital project in the PNG image in Photoshop or Elements. Click on the PNG image to select it. Get the Rectangular Marquee Tool and draw a rectangle around the item on the page that you want to use. Switch to the Move Tool and then double check to make sure that the PNG layer is selected in the Layers panel. Drag the item you have selected over onto your digital project. Once it's there, you can resize it and reposition it. Switching to the Move tool is an important step because neglecting to do this moves the selection instead of the part of the image that you want to move. If I'm still using the Marquee tool and I try to drag this over, I'll just be moving the selection instead of moving the flower. Now go back to the PNG image and press Ctrl D or on a Mac system Command D on your keyboard to remove the selection. Use the marquee tool to get another item if desired. This technique also works with other selection tools, like the elliptical marquee tool that hides here under the rectangular marquee tool, and the lasso tools. To use the lasso tool, click on the PNG image and carefully draw a selection around the part of the image that you want to use. The selection will close and you'll see marching ants when you reach the spot where you started drawing the selection. Next, switch to the Move tool and make sure that the image is highlighted here in the Layers panel. And then drag the item over onto your digital project. Or at this point, you can copy the selection by pressing Ctrl C on your keyboard on a Mac system that's Command C and then paste it onto your digital project by pressing Ctrl V or on a Mac system Command V on your keyboard. If you're not using Photoshop or Elements, you might need to make a copy of the sheet and then use your software's crop tool to crop away the part of the image that you're not using. Drag the item onto your scrapbook page and then you can come back and undo the crop. Show